Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your reading, guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Miss Seedy, and if you're returning, then welcome back, my beautiful darlings. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all your comments, shares, subscriptions, and beautiful, beautiful messages. It means so much to me. I hope you guys are doing well after the Scorpio full moon, and congratulations to the picked winner for the end of the reading. I'll be doing a giveaway, pick a card reading, and the cool thing is, if you guys want to enter for the next one, a surprise is that I'm giving a free 30 minute free live reading away so it's valued at a hundred dollars and if you guys do want to book free re or free readings <laughs> one free reading so far unless there's a lot of comments maybe that wasn't the accident um maybe i could give away more if there's a lot of comments you guys are gonna blow it up right so part of that is happening you can also book readings with me at missedtarot.com do check out my website i just launched my new store so you'll definitely find a lot of goodies on there so let's get into your reading again these are general and they cannot and will not always apply to your situation only take what resonates I try to cover as many things as possible so that we can connect better and um, keep in mind again I do talk really fast so you can slow that down below and uh, with that full moon that you guys just had in your energy I feel like you know you've, you've been healing and letting go of a lot of different things keep in mind at the end of this month mercury is going retrograde so if you do have any error you know with that uh, mercury ruled planets in your charts it's gonna be significant letting go of that toxic energy definitely I've got the deck upside down some of you could be like obsessed about a new beginning with someone or your person I should say don't know why I made that you but why not temperance coming through okay it could be dealing with a Sagittarius could be healing things it's kind of interesting see it's like they're flipping sideways and upside down here okay so we do have this one sliding out as well and I'm gonna take that one Scorpio let me get started so we do have the temperance which is kind of in reverse but maybe some of you are working on getting more balanced maybe there's still some anger or there's still some pain after being left out abandoned or separated from someone someone may be still working through this if this is you or your person um, you know you weren't getting what you needed from someone so you're kind of needing to focus on yourself turning your energy transmuting your energy although um, for some of you too there's definitely a victory coming in or because it was upside down maybe there was some Something that wasn't giving to you as much as you thought okay so you didn't really end up walking away with as much as you had hoped with the five of pentacles being a lack or a loss now this can just be something you invested your time and energy into and it really didn't invest back into you or it didn't fulfill what it was going to okay with the temperance card though we are moving into that you know see that fire that love this is a beautiful beautiful card you're really evolving and uh, unveiling a big part of you and this can be either like healing abandonment issues healing something to do with like financial like maybe you're healing your relationship with money your relationship with like how you're spending time with people how you're spending because this is your investment of material things or also time so maybe you know you're really coming to terms with how someone wasn't really giving you this energy or breadcrumbing you you're really recovering from a really crappy situation you're not going to beg for this person's attention or you're not going to fight for something uh you know you're you maybe there's a little bit of pride here too for some of you because it's kind of like fiery energy Energy always makes me sort of think of the strength card we do have with the <laughs> Taurus energy we've got two major arcanas so you're really healing for some of you from an actual divorce or separation from someone there's definitely like a really big powerful for a few of you okay this could be part of it you're moving away from that or you're healing these issues as you're stepping into a commitment you're starting to heal and transmute this so that you can really come into this full beautiful enlightened self remember the one is inside like you're the one who is giving your energy to people um, you're not asking for people like people could be feeling you know this person could be feeling like all of a sudden you're shining your light somewhere else you're giving your attention to someone else and this is coming through Taurus energy it has to do with beliefs faith it has to do with enlightenment schooling education you could be learning a lot of new things and really accelerating maybe you had to learn some situations because there was a lack of commitment or you're learning how to commit again okay vice versa this could be your person going through this with the five here too there's definitely challenges because it's two fives so for some of you you're healing challenging relationships from the past and moving forward into this beautiful new enlightened energy you're healing this you're letting go of this which is great because if you're healing the five the only way you can go is up right manifesting this you have four cards that i see and three of them are major arcana so you are really stepping into your power scorpio um you could be connecting with an aries as well here too 
also Virgo, but you could be connecting with someone who is a very like master manifester. This is you, like you figured out the laws of the universe. You figured out how to get what it is you want and you're now teaching and helping other people how to do it. So you're in a very powerful energy. Just be a little careful too. You don't want to use that in a negative way. For some of you too, there's sort of like this, um, this allure I feel like with the infinity symbol being very significant, there's a major destiny awakening and you're kind of also like stepping into this powerful control energy. You could be being mentored right now and it's sort of like the mentor is teaching you how to make the recipe. Like now you have all the ingredients and now you're going to be making it. So for some of you, you know, you're kind of like really shutting out situations, letting go of past like relearning. I feel like there's a restructuring that's really happening here. Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus but a beautiful person in the public eye here someone who's very confident very beautiful this is how they see you is as someone very secure looking good financially doing really well but this person could be preparing to offer you that pinnacle now with the temperance too you know maybe there's a change to your looks there's a change to how you're dressing or of course this is how your person is viewing you or vice versa that there's some kind of transformation there's a shift right well yeah you're glowing you're shining bright you're looking beautiful beautiful, um, very attractive. This person may have not really felt like the need to give to you before and now they see you and they're just like, whoa, who's that? Like, look at them. And they're doing really good here. The peacock too can also signify public, uh, someone who's in the eyes of the public, someone with really pure, beautiful intentions. This person's very nurturing, can also be a mother figure. Some of you could be healing mother abandonment issues, to be honest, that comes through or this person could, you know, um, bring this nurturing caring energy or this is again how they perceive you because you're also your stability and security is actually healing their lack Ooh, that was a good one I like that so there's definitely a beautiful like healing lack mindset having a mindset shift okay here we go paradigm shift for you guys <laughs> right through it yes right because whatever if something left you out it wasn't meant for you anywhere anyway for others of you you're really breaking free from that cycle breaking free and overcoming whatever this was you're ending up on top it's almost like from nada to Prada okay take it how it resonates but you're really kind of rising the ranks even you're gonna be winning something or this person Person has you on a pedestal even if like you're begging for this person's attention like this is sort of or sorry your person could be feeling like they're begging for your attention and they're trying to do whatever they can like they could be like praying trying to manifest you um really bringing in the strong energy to have this victory with you they see you as the one like you're the everything that this person could want like you're this person's dream come true and then all of a sudden it's like oh my god that's my person and then they want to like marry you they want to lock it down <laughs> they want to come in from the cold with you for some of you okay if you're divorcing or separating or you have in the past you are healing that moving forward overcoming this and kind of realizing like whoa anywhere is better than where i was so let me just enjoy where i am and really breaking free okay tower energy at the bottom though could be a major transformation a shake up wake up break up kind of all that fun energy but it's also anything that wasn't on a solid foundation yeah if they weren't giving to you you kick them out or you kind of like let them go vice versa um, someone could have really been breaking free from this energy. But you can also be in a beautiful position where you're able to help other people. This could be what your person does. They could be like on a, with the world card. Maybe it's an international kind of like charity work giving back I don't know traveling definitely with the world card maybe that's also part of it is you can't travel the lack of travel that's kind of limited here too for some of you but I feel like that's changing like something's opening up very majorly for you with the justice card as I was shuffling at the bottom a lot of major arcana for you guys so this is a uh, yo I'm sorry, I don't get very excited too often, but look at this. You got this new cycle with this lovers. Okay, hold on, hold on. Some of you have been like really manifesting your person. This could have been if you're dealing with a twin flame connection, since we're talking about this beautiful lovers energy, I'm not trying to skip the wheel, but it is a completion of a cycle. And I told you that cycle of lack, you're having this major enlightenment, Scorpio, major evolution rising above. You've gone through all this hard work. You've gone through, you've weathered the changes, okay? because this is also someone who's like outside in the cold in the element okay you've conquered oh okay <laughs> you've conquered this this space like whatever this is you've conquered this fear you've conquered this abandonment this lack or this difficulty or whatever this blockage was like if someone slammed the door in your face 
you're coming back for it. Like you're winning this. You're, you learned how to do this. You've overcome this. You sought a, sought a mentor to help you through this, or you're receiving guidance from someone who's enlightened, someone who's giving you the spiritual awakening, or this is just you really having this new cycle where you're starting. Like the wheel can only spin once you've completed so that you can go to the next space. Now, where is it taking you? It's taking you directly to this beautiful new connection. So for some of you, you had to endure what you did with this person to learn those lessons, to experience that. And then now that you've had that, you know, the person wasn't giving to you, breadcrumbing you, not giving you this energy. Again, this can be how they made you feel. And then you knew your worth, you found your value and you're like, no, 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 I know what I bring to the table. I know what I'm making here. I know what I'm cooking. <laughs> Do you smell what the rock is cooking? I don't know why that came through, but sure. But you're having this new beginning, this new cycle, and it's attracting their Gemini energy here too. But you could be dealing with a lover. Um, the lovers is about choices. It's about like, do I choose focusing and manifesting this? You know, you're ending up on top. So is your person. And this is telling me that you're equals, okay? You guys can have a very big purpose here. Very beautiful um, spiritual connection as well, specifically past life connection. Some of you could have been breaking free from a past life contract contract with this person and you completed what it was so there was nothing else to give you had to move on okay for those of you that are like leaving a dynamic that was causing you this pain but this is also bringing in this beautiful new love someone who will like this beautiful energy commit to you give you that beautiful adoring energy someone is just really got you on a pedestal here I, I like it. You deserve this. There's a lot of very structured honest like investing here someone could be financially gaining major security uh someone could be like winning something here too you're getting major recognition possibly even on a wor world stage and it's shifting this new cycle for you it's shifting this new beginning because you've been doing that hard work inside as you've been healing and clearing and closing out and maybe you're the one who's been cutting people off and people who were draining you and adding to this conflict so to add to your structure and stability to get this that solid root here like really rooting yourself into your energy. I feel like that's what's really helping you tap into your power, tap into your ability and really attract this beautiful lover's card as well to the bottom. Like I said, four of swords recovering. It's interesting because there's so much stuff. Maybe religion is a factor. Maybe faith is a factor, but we have the three of swords healing this, like taking this time out recovering. Okay. Some of you could be recovering from an illness here. There could have been a major illness that is um, influencing the dynamic for you with your person but with the world card too there's okay well we know what's going on in the world right now but someone could be healing from something recovering from something and this is going to be like when you come back from this you're gonna have like this rejuvenation like i said it's a new cycle with energy it's a new cycle with this beginning commitment for sure especially with the hierophant and the lovers this is a beautiful like you've been married before i don't know who you guys are dealing with but if you're dealing with your twin flame here you're definitely completing a cycle this to me is also saying like the separation is closing because you're now you're starting from scratch you've healed whatever those energies were that were between your you and your person really overcome this let it go uh moving into that beautiful passionate energy okay thank you the last two things here waiting for this could be waiting for this communication this person's really slow though i feel like this person is either like slowly opening up their heart to you and like expressing how they feel um this can also be this this offer coming in towards you like i said you know there's the queen there's this offer so someone could be opening up their heart chakra to me to the green has to do with that but also that chest opening up their heart holding on really tight to you someone could be of course like slowly opening up or sharing and it's funny because we have the four pentacles this pentacle makes it five so this person you know but the other person has the sixth pentacle she's holding the sixth one so for some of you this is like that reciprocation there could be an age difference they're not that it's a maturity difference but this person is like investing it's a new beginning it could be investing into something too <sighs> yeah I feel good. I feel like you guys have been really manifesting these beautiful opportunities. It's taken a really long time. Um, you could be like collecting like this person really does cherish you. Like I said, they they honor you. They respect you. They value you with the Taurus energy as well, too. That's like that divine, you know, Venu, Venu, Venusian, <laughs> Venusian energy, which has to do with finances as well. So your finances are getting better. So if you were worried, if things were getting a little scarce, if things were getting a little difficult, you're winning. You're ending up on 
on top. You could be winning something that's very valuable, but that could just be this person. This is how they could see you. This is how they can cherish you. Like you're their little special gem. I love it. Uh, I like it. That's really nice. You guys are moving, traveling, waiting for this person to come towards you, waiting for your manifestations and your dreams, waiting for your boat to arrive so that you can jump on it and sail the world. Um, maybe some of you are sailors. Maybe some of you are in sales. Okay, nice. So it could be different things coming through. Thank you guys. So if you want to stick around, you can maybe check out this winner reading. So congratulations. I'm going to announce it in a second. These can also resonate with you too. So if you want to stick around, see what you can get next time. Uh, this is also just a reminder that I'm giving away the free reading for the next section, but do say hi, let me know. And the Scorpio winner for this reading was for my Scorpios. Oh, cool. So we have Jeff Holmquist or Holmquist. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but uh, you were saying is what it be. We are only controlled by one's self's actions. So we are our own captains. I like that. And that kind of applies with what I was just saying about like, you are the captain of your own ship at sea. So where are you going? Where are we navigating? Let's see. Okay. I feel like you're definitely moving into a beautiful calmer water. If this message was resonating for you, what is coming through for Jeff? <laughs> well, my, okay. I'm not going to do the whole stack. So you could be coming through a little bit of conflict, could have been some competition. And with that winner card too, I feel like you beat out the competition. You're, you know, you're really having this victory. Be a little careful. There's there could be some like shady stuff going on. I got the five of swords, the moon card. You've been through, who you've been through a lot. Tower card. There's a lot of choices. Here's your Scorpio energy at the end. It's kind of telling me like a really painful love story. Okay. So you're conflicted, right? You're conflicted. Maybe you have bad experiences with marriages. We're starting off with two fives right away. So I feel like there's definitely a difficult journey here. Could have been sabotage, could have been betrayal, could have been lied to, could have been secrets, right? Okay. A little bit of sneakiness here. Again, it could be you or your person, but I feel like this is what has happened to you. So you have a hard time trusting people because people have always kind of had a hard time opening up or sharing their deep emotions with the moon card here too i feel like you really struggled possibly in the past couple weeks with the surge of energy you don't know how to go like your intuitions and kind of all over the place your emotions might have been kind of a little rocky that could have been why you maybe withdrew lately being a little bit more private being a little bit more um wounded warrior right you've been hurt in the past you've been hurt really bad maybe you've had to fight for people's attention or fight for this person's attention I'm not calling you out this resonates with everybody okay so um we all do these different things so you've maybe blocked someone from communicating to you after a fight after some kind of like there's a breach of trust here i feel like someone is blocking this and, and with the full moon here too i feel like there was a lot of deep emotions here and someone wasn't willing to have that conversation someone wasn't before but there's definitely Definitely messages coming through now this can be something that you like close yourself off to because you're not gonna fight for people who don't fight for you right that could just be the main point here so when you're kind of with this moon energy you're gonna hide your feelings no matter how much you're fighting yourself or fighting your feelings you're gonna kind of like you're still healing this you're wounded you're emerging from something that was very difficult you've built a wall around your heart but this is someone kind of like those little cupid's arrows tapping at the wall here hitting it down okay it's not it's not like a breach or anything but it's definitely someone wanting to communicate now there's some confusion some illusion there could be a lot of options maybe all of a sudden there's a lot of communication there's a lot of energy when you start putting yourself out there because you're going to need to open up you're going to need to heal someone could be of course conflicted or you've been conflicted about expressing yourself to someone and you haven't quite found the courage yet to tell them how you feel but with the sun emerging it's like a dawn of a new day you're going to turn around you're going to face those eight ones and have this conversation and i feel like this conversation is going to be really positive even though there's a lot of unknowns and there might be some uncomfortable parts but you do have to express yourself and I feel like this person could be secretly you know watching you checking up on you or you're kind of keeping your eye on someone's social media you got a whole stack here so I don't know this could be someone you work with this could be someone who is you know busy mastering their craft you've kind of pulled back and maybe you're focusing on what it is you're doing like I said that studying here too with the books learning taking this time to do some research during this phase here working really hard with the three of pentacles putting in the work putting in this connection maybe this is working on the marriage working on the dynamic working on putting in this investment like i said like taking that three pentacles and then really like mastering your craft into this higher energy squirt oh my gosh you got the tower and the 
death card. Okay, major shakeup. Like I said earlier, that shakeup, breakup energy that was coming through. So I feel like there was a lot of illusions. I think you're shaking down from those illusions. Any of that self-sabotage or those confusions or those stories you kind of were holding on to or just trusting yourself more, knowing your ability, knowing your capability with the magician card, you can create everything you want. So you start smooth sailing. You start moving into the six of wands and six of swords energy into this new beginning. Now, someone can be watching you move away and they can be a little bit pissed or grumpy about this. Someone may not be happy about a breakup or this could have been you. This person could have left you and you're sort of like, wow, like now I really see your true colors, you know, take it how it is. And again, speaking of true colors, here's the rainbow <laughs> Skittles. <laughs> here we go. So I think what's happening here, what's really neat is that was actually a blessing in disguise because even though you might have been working and this person was accusing you or thing, saying things or whatever, you got these two pentacles, which makes 10. Now here's that rainbow after the storm, that ship that you were waiting for could have crashed. Maybe it crashed and burned in the sense that like what you thought it was wasn't happening. But there's that blessing with these two offers, two pentacles. You are balancing major things two pentacles and two of cups, okay? Um, I feel like you're definitely attracting someone that is going to make you completely understand why that ending was needed so that this new beginning can come in for you. This new love, this new beginning, an opportunity, a new commitment, new connection. This person is gonna heal all those woos from the past. This person is gonna help you really elevate and close out those old cycles, close out those old ways of doubting people, of hiding secrets, a lot of secrets here, okay? I know you guys are really deep. You're gonna be holding on to a lot of different things. Things, but with the moon energy too like that's that deep 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 emotions okay and those are those deep emotions that not everybody likes to talk about okay so you think you can get away with not having that conversation but you can't you need to have these honest expressions and communication so that those confusion that fog can fall away so that you can break down that wall remember I said someone's chipping away at your wall there really breaking this down because I'm telling you this connection this person gets you this person understands you you see the potential you see the opportunity you know it's worth for you to invest with this person this connection is a mind body soul like financially too like this could be even like a power couple kind of thing where you guys really get each other because i do see travel i do see relocation do you see that marriage card working on this you see he's got all those tools at the top here you have everything you need that's that magician energy still vibing through big changes for you a big shake up and i'm kind of you know this message was a lot for you but i didn't want to block it because i feel like you needed to hear this jeff so let me know how resonated and like I said you can only get a rainbow when there's a sun after the storm so very positive change major major positive shift for you so please know the sun is shining so I'm just gonna call you sunshine because I want you to smile okay I hope you're having a blessed beautiful day guys thank you so much for joining thank you for being here thank you so much for supporting me hit the like button even if it wasn't for you just because it means a lot to me thank you guys do check that bell like I mentioned and please don't forget to check all the other signs so you can or sorry the other videos here so that you could get a more clear picture on your current dynamic in case this didn't resonate today the other messages could be resonating to your other situation focus on the titles as always stay safe god bless love and light all of bless all of you now and always take care bye